thickness is say 10 centimeter there is a some dust particle is there uh, which is at a distance of say 3 centimeter mu of glass 1.5 this is air and a person two persons are there one person will view from here other person will view from here what is the distance in separation between the images as seen by person 192 now where is the object the dust particle it is here now this person will see for him where do it appear this person will see for him where do it appear then the difference in those two positions is what that is being asked here find the position of in by persons carry on now can you apply uh, where is the object object is not outside no somewhere inside the slab how do we do Oh, I think <laughs> just wait and I'll get this screen. Can you use this formula? Can we use this formula? The answer is no. The reason the object which it will emit rays, okay, the rays emitted by object here will go undergo refraction, will enter I. The rays emitted by object will undergo refraction, will enter into I. There is only one single refraction, no? I, and where is the this person? Both the persons are in here. Apparent shift formula you have to apply here. The uh, for, for this person, where do the image will appear? Will will appear nearer, no? I2. This is the real depth. Then what is the apparent depth? Okay, this distance, how much will be? 7 centimeter. 7 centimeter by mu. What about the real depth for this person? Will be 3 centimeter. Will be 3 centimeter. Then how much will be? 3 cm by mu. Suppose I will bring this, both the persons are at right, 8 cm from the slab. We'll bring the person's position also. Okay, they are at what distance? 8 cm. Then where do it will appear for them? So first for this person, the image will appear here. For this person, the image will appear here. There's a person P1, there's a P2, you can say. P2, say P1. Uh, P1, I1, how you calculate? P1, I1 is equal to P1, O by mu, no? P1, O is 3 by mu, mu is 3 by 2, 2 centimeter. P1, P2, I2. P2 I2 should be equal to P2O by P2O will be 7 by 3 by 2, 14 by 3.
4.67 centimeter. So where do the image will appear? Uh, okay, 8 centimeter plus P2I for this person. For this person, 8 centimeter plus P1I1 is asking the difference in position of images. How to calculate this? Uh, call this is X. I think what is the total length of the slab? P1, P2 should be equal to 10. So what is that P1, P2 should be equal to P1? I1 plus I1, I2 plus P2, I2 equal to 10. I1, I2 is what is asking. That is what X here. So P1, I1 already we know 2. X 4.67. To 10. Solve it. Uh, 6.67, it will be 3.33. Separation between images. Uh, the moment you see slab, you should not, sir, I'll apply this formula. <laughs> I think try to understand the ray optics here, not like formula here. The rays emitted by him will undergo only one refraction, so apparent shift concept. If the rays undergo double refraction, then the slab will come, slab concept. The rays here emitted by it will undergo refraction here at the surface P2 and will enter into human eye. The rays emitted by the dust particle here will undergo refraction at surface P1 will enter into human eye. One. So only one refraction. No, one refraction, we can't use shift formula. Double refraction, shift formula will come. Oh, oh, are you getting? I wanted to just give some idea here. Double refraction, then this is applicable. I check books now. You have plenty of questions of these kinds. Students want to learn through formula. No. Come take help of the basic ray optics. It will be much easier. Huh? So we are not still, still, we didn't understood. Okay, we'll do one thing. We draw ray diagram. What is there? The ray will go in after refraction, uh, denser to random. Then the similarly the ray will go here. Okay, again, this also will move from denser to random. A rough diagram it is. Hope you are able to think easily here. This ray will enter into your person, your high of the person to this ray will enter into.